Scream 3 movie thoughts. Okay, so having a an insane director as the killer is a pretty cool idea. You know, he wants to make a real life movie and he can't handle that Sid, you know, she stole his life because their mother wouldn't accept him, you know, and so he was behind at least the first movie. It doesn't really say anything about Mickey and Mrs. Loomis, but then, and you know, he does a pretty good job. I'm not sure I'll ever look at the dolphin guy in Scrubs the same way again. And you gotta love when, you know, Sidney just calls him on the BS and said, and they have that exchange where he's like, stop it, don't want to hear it, you know, just, that's, it's totally manic and it kind of does hit the mark. It is that kind of, he doesn't want to take responsibility for his actions. You kill because you choose to kill. You know, don't blame the movies. Don't blame mom. You kill because you want to kill, you know. And how it does touch upon the, you know, do violent movies create real life violence thing. Again, the structure has some clever moments, you know, and the references to the first tend to work. I don't think the supernatural element did entirely work, but I guess they had to do something to properly incorporate her again, you know, Maureen, but I don't know. I don't think it worked out quite as well. Jenny McCarthy is fun enough. Parker Posey is just hilarious, neurotic as ever, as not Gale. And I suppose that's about what I have to say. If there's anything else you want my opinion on, down below.